decision you make has the potential to change the course of your life. Some of those choices carry more weight than others. For one family in Albion, adoption has impacted multiple generations. Local 4's Mason Kern shows us how their choices have touched everyone around them. Let's go! Jackson Lipker wears his emotions on his sleeve. He does his little roar and he's got that big smile on his face. Jackson's shown off that contagious smile since he was young. It's part of why he was a valuable member of the 2014 Boone Central football team. I became a manager and traveled with the team and it was just amazing watching this team unfold and how dominant they were. That's a special time in Albion and on November 25th of that year, Jackson grinned from ear to ear. Running out on the field when they won the state championship, that was something I'll never forget. Definitely inspired me and it's like I want to be just like these guys I want to be just like my brother fast forward nine years and Jackson did just that I think that made this year so much better I almost enjoyed this season a lot more because it's like you watch these kids and they grew up watching you the 2023 Cardinals finished with an undefeated record and a state title with Jackson winning it all his senior year, just like Big Bro. I told Michael right after the game, just like you, doing everything just like you, and that's all I wanted. He has a state championship. I could do the same thing that he could do. I mean, I've looked up to him all my life. Just a big brother up there, and I just wanted to be like him. A brotherly bond bound not by blood, but fate. Jackson is an adopted child, born in Hinesville, Georgia, and brought to Albion just days into life. A big thing about adoption to me is how close I am with this family and how close they are with me. Brent and Tracy Livker are Jackson's adoptive parents, a decision they say was made well before he was even in the picture. We knew we always wanted four children. We wanted a big family. Found out that after our two older children were born that we were unable to have any more children. We talked about it more and it was a very easy decision. I mean, it was a minute decision a minute decision but a years-long process they found out adding to their family through adoption was difficult it was an emotional roller coaster at one point we were we were just ready to be done we we're like uh, this isn't meant to be and it took a while i think it's almost four years when it came it was just just like that their birth mother chose us and so as the day after mother's day we found out that we were um going to be Jackson's parents from the time we found out to the time he was born with just a couple weeks. And the rest of the family recalls it like yesterday. I was so excited. I remember my grandma, she printed a picture off at work of him and I carried it around and slept with it under my pillow until they got back. But their family didn't stop growing there. About a little over a year later, we were surprised with finding out we were getting Maya. Jackson's birth <laughs> mother called and said that she wanted us to adopt her child that she was carrying and we yeah, yeah, on the phone decision. God works in mysterious ways. I think he knew that Jackson needed Maya and that we all needed Maya to complete our family. It's a beautiful thing, it really is. Even though we aren't, weren't theirs to begin with, that we can still make a big impact to them as they have made a big impact for us. Jackson and Maya share a special sibling bond, same birth parents and adoptive family. We're still the closest thing to family that we got, like our own family, the blood family. But Jackson knows that they're Lipkers through and through. They care about me so much, and they care about Maya so much. We we do the best that we can. We want to be the best for them. Reporting in Albion, Mason Kern, Local 4 Sports. Lipkert will stay close to home for college. He's committed to Concordia for track and field. He has his first meet of his last year of high school scheduled for tomorrow.